Hey, hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your monthly love tarot card prediction. This is for the month of July 2018. This is a general reading. Please only take what resonates with you. I can help you with your specific questions when you book a reading following the links provided in the box below. If you'd like to win a free reading, press the notification bell and comment, and you will be automatically entered to win. I have blessed, shuffled, and meditated over this reading just for you, Sagittarius. Your first card, that's the background, the general atmosphere. It's the basis of the matter. It is the Ten of Cups. And in a love reading, why wouldn't this be the basis of the matter? Ten of Cups. What a great card. It's a happy family life. It's contentment. It's lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's perfect human love and true love. It's better than you expected. It's embarking on something that makes life worth living. So take that time to be grateful because it's a divine love and blessings gift from the universe. Your second card, it's the immediate influence. It's occurring now or crossing over your path. That is the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands says you're standing your ground and you're defending what matters and you're facing up to the challenge. Your determination is going to win the day because you do have the position of advantage. You're holding off the competition and you're taking a stand because your hope is justified. Just persevere. You're going to win out. Your third card, this is how it affects you. It's kind of how you're feeling, I guess. It's your Eight of Swords. A little restriction there. The Eight of Swords. And that's bondage. It's fear to move out of a situation. But it is temporary durance. It's sometimes being your own worst enemy because it's you that can change matters. It is a bad situation that's just temporary. And you're feeling trapped and making excuses, maybe have a little of that victim mentality. So use courage to think of a new way and you'll get out of this frustrated restriction. Your fourth card, it's the outcome. It's the future. It's the results, the advice and how to respond. It's the world card, number 21 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The world, number 21, that stands for completion. It's reward and success and triumph and you're feeling on top of the world. It's fulfillment of hopes and dreams. It's a life-changing thing. It can be travel, it can be a change of your residence, but you are completing something and you're going to be celebrating that and dancing and you have support by unseen forces. There is success after a long trial. Your goal is achieved and recognition is likely. There's your fifth card on the bottom of the deck. It's what's underlying the issue. It's what's unseen. And that is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups stands for fantasy and imagination. And this is two sevens in a, in a draw, so that means news. There's news coming. There's some kind of great creative potential. And you have many options available, so many you have difficulty choosing. It's the gambler card. So make sure that you only do what's 100% secure. Because there might be some people around you that aren't 100% truthful. Make sure you let your feelings guide you and think before jumping in. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, for all your wonderful comments and validations. I'm extremely grateful. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. 
love and light. Thank you.